Welcome back to our five-day devotional on the glory of God. Here's where we've been. God created us for His glory and therefore our duty and destiny is to live for His glory. Day two, we have failed, all of us, no exceptions. We've loved the glory of man more than the glory of God. And day three, God did something about that. He didn't just throw us away. He sent His Son into the world to bear our failures to live for the glory of God called sin and to vindicate His own glory. And now day four, here we are. How do you, how do you live in view of that salvation? Well, you, you trust Him. You trust Him. We are justified by faith apart from works of the law. So we put our faith in Jesus. We look away from all our failures to live for his glory and we say, Jesus, you're my only hope and we trust him. And then we go over to um, the example of Abraham in Romans 4.20 where it says he did not waver in unbelief but he grew strong in his faith giving glory to God. And we learn that Trusting Jesus glorifies God. When you, when you hang on to somebody as your only hope, you show that they're strong and you're weak. They're rich and you're poor, right? So we want to make God look great. We want to live for his glory. And now we know that trusting his promises is the way Abraham glorified God. And one more thing. When you say, what does it mean to trust? What's at the core and essence of trust? And here's a, a crucial part of it. Trusting God is seeing Him as glorious and being satisfied in Him. So you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, and we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord are being changed from one degree, one degree of glory to the next. So that's how your life begins to change. That's called sanctification. So we're trusting Jesus, that is we're seeing his glory, we're cleaving to it, we're treasuring it, and little by little, you become like what you treasure. You become like what you worship. And seeing the glory of Jesus in the cross, saving you, seeing the glory of God in and through the work of salvation begins to change you into the kind of person that loves his glory more than anything else and therefore severs the root of sin and keeps you on a path of love and holiness. So we're going to finish this up tomorrow with the consummation of all things for the glory of God. But today, ponder the glory of the Lord, hold on to it, treasure it, so that you are increasingly conformed to his image.